Aquarius, welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is going to be a reading for Aquarius and for those who have Aquarius placements. Check your chart for your placements. As always, cross watchers, you're welcome here. Keep in mind the energy is fluid, so the roles may be reversed. You may flip the messages as needed if necessary, but never force it. If it's for you, the messages will flow. Never force the reading. Also, time is also fluid. Anytime that you press play is the time for you to receive the messages. Guys, if the reading resonates, be sure to tap that like button or like, comment, and or subscribe. It lets me know that you want to see more of these videos and it helps my, my channel to grow, okay? And also, if you're interested in a personal reading, you can click on the link in the description box below, okay? I decided to do this with my face in the camera so that people know that this is a real channel. All right, so Aquarius, let's get into it. Let's pull some energies. I've already pre-shuffled your deck. Show me the messages for Aquarius. Show me the messages, please. Show me the messages for Aquarius. The card came out sideways. I only read uprights and reversals. There we go. All right. Wow. See how that flipped around, guys? Wow. Somebody is wanting to communicate. Eight of Wands is here. There's a lot of fire in your connection. You can be connected with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or somebody who has fire in their chart. It's a very passionate connection. So when it's good, it's great. But when it's bad, it can get really bad if it's bad. We're going to go into this. Um, but I do see some sort of communication coming in from somebody. Okay. It's going to be quick. I see a lot of messages. I feel like it's somebody who doesn't particularly hold themselves, sorry guys, accountable for their behavior with the justice reverse. This is somebody that plays the victim. Okay, this could be for some of you, this could be somebody that you have, a, you're in court with or somebody who's having some sort of legal problems, some legal issues. They may be reaching out to you in regards to that. Why is the King of Wands here? Yeah, this is somebody that I feel like you were with in a relationship with. This is somebody that came off very protective of you. This is a loyal energy, I feel like, somebody who was faithful. This is somebody for a lot of you that was an entrepreneur, somebody who had their own business going on um, or working on something for their own in their own business. But with the three of cuts reversed, I feel like there was some sort of betrayal here that came from this person. So this person could have felt betrayed by somebody else or it could have been you or this person could have betrayed you. We will find out, okay? Um, It was so sad about this is that this person always presented themselves as somebody who that you like you would feel safe with. I feel like this person even told you you're safe with me. This person I feel like turned out to be the same kind of person that you told them you didn't want to be around. You know that you know I feel like some of you were hurt in the past and you told this person about that pain and this person turned out to be the same thing, but they presented themselves again as the King of Wands when in reality they ended up hurting you anyway. All right, is what I'm getting. But I do feel like some sort of communication is coming from this person. And they're feeling like really enthusiastic about whatever it is they need to say. Show me more for the situation, please. And guys, if you've been betrayed by this person, you already know obviously what the betrayal is and why you're not speaking to this person. Some of you could have taken this person to court and it didn't go in any favor. That could be the case as well. Yeah, you could be connecting with an Aquarius. I mean, another Aquarius. I'm getting your energy. It could be another Aquarius here. I also can be a Libra and a Gemini. Yeah, someone's here. They're losing faith in the connection. I feel like this is your person that's playing the victim. They, you know, you may not be answering or responding to this person. So that's why now they're coming up with like some sort of creative way to speak to you to get your attention they may even say they have some sort of business idea or something to present to you with this king of wands to try to get your attention because they do feel like it's hopeless because like again some of you are not speaking to this person some of you may be blocking this person or have them on you know read like they can see that you read that you read the message but you're not responding they want forgiveness. Ten of Swords reverse. This is somebody that wants your forgiveness. They want to be redeemed by something that they did to you. They want you two to come together and rise above the problems that they created is what I'm getting. 
But at the same time, I, I know it's the problems they created because that's the energy I'm picking up. But at the same time, this person is not holding themselves accountable. I feel like they just make excuses and they blame everything and on, on everyone and everybody. You know, like, it's everyone's fault but theirs is what I'm getting. Yeah. Yeah, this person did something with business. I'm getting, like, shortcuts or something. Like, they tried to take the easy way out with something with the world reverse. Is something else for some of you because the betrayal as far as another person is not going to resonate with everyone because this is a collective but for some of you this person just did something that was not on the up and up as far as business goes something with a shortcut try to take a shortcut for something and they didn't see it through also with the world reverse i get the energy of this feeling this person you know feeling like they don't want this to be over between you and this you and them show me more please for me to break down here I feel like this person just went above and beyond to try to please you. They didn't feel like they measured up. They didn't feel like they was enough for you. Is why I feel like they got themselves caught in a lot of, you know, a lot of stuff. Queen of Pentacles reverses here. I feel like for you, you you went above and beyond for this person. And, and they know that too. To help this person in some way. And to, at the expense of your own well-being. I feel like you neglected some of your needs to help this person see something through. Some of you invested in this person's business and it didn't, it didn't, you know, transpire the way it should have. Or some of you invested in something and this person betrayed you with, with someone else, right? But they see you as someone who doesn't need them. Queen of Wands, very independent, very attractive. Like there, there's a lot of insecurity around this person's energy. And this is why they took the risk that they took with the five of wands reversed. Now this is someone again, they want to, they want to resolve the issues you two have. They want to come together. Now they're like, damn, I want to really make it work with Aquarius. Um, show me more about the breakdown here. You can be tempted. I'm get, again, Aries, Leo, Sag. I'm getting strong Aries energy. Yeah, this person really messed up. Ace of Pentacles reversed. There was something with this person, you know, th there was some sort of bad investment with this person. They invested in something that didn't, you know, again, didn't transpire. And I feel like you even helped this person financially. And I feel like this person kept certain things from you. They made them look like things were going good. That's why I got the King of Wands here. This person made it seem like everything was good. It was all good, but it wasn't. It wasn't on the up and up. <laughs> I feel like there was someone, there was some something with poor planning and poor investments. This person wanted things to move a lot quicker than they should have. That's why this person made shortcuts and it cost them financially is what I'm getting. Um, let me pull on the three of cups reverse. Show me more for that, please, Spirit. This card is already flipped over. Death card. Mm, show me more for this three of cups reverse. This card show you what they want you to know, and what it's showing me is that this person wants your forgiveness for that that betrayal, whatever that betrayal was that you are aware of. With the death card, there's that's about change and transformation. This is someone who wants to get rid of something, want to close something out, want to let something go, and when it comes towards you, Ace of Cups is here. They have so many emotions for you, so much love for you. They have so much that they want to say. They want to pour out their feelings for you. Okay? They want to change their ways. This person is like willing to go through a transformation to make things work. They want to recover this. Okay? You could be connecting with the Pisces. I'm getting strong Pisces. And I'm getting Scorpio energy. Okay? But with the Queen of Swords reverse at the bottom of the deck, this is you. I feel like you have all these boundaries, healthy boundaries. I feel like you are, in fact, open to communication if this person is willing to be honest. And I feel like the reason why you're resistant to this person now, and I didn't even get into your feelings yet, but I feel this resistance, Aquarius. Like I said, this person feels like they're losing hope because you're not really saying much to them. And I just feel like because... You're not interested in anything that's not going to be completely transparent. And you're not interested in anything of this person taking accountability of their actions. Like, again, this person is denying that certain things and they're blaming this, their actions on other people and other things. And you're looking at them sides where you're like, you're responsible for what you did. So I feel like you're open to communication, Aquarius, only if it's honest. And you're like, I need you to be accountable. Because you're okay. With the Queen of Swords, you're perfectly fine. You're like, I'm okay being on my own if I need to. Because you're not settling for less. 
You're not. You're willing to be supportive of this person if they're willing to be honest. So show me this person's feelings towards Aquarius. Show me more. Yeah, they felt like they feel you that you they, that you're avoiding them because you're trying to avoid any unnecessary drama. Queen of Queen of Cups reverse, you pull back your emotions for them because you feel like you already did too much. You overgave at the expense of your own well-being. I'm getting codependency. Um, it's like, you know, they recognize that the deception is out and they recognize that they caused you a lot of unhappiness as a result of that, right? You could be connecting with a Pisces or a Leo. But they like, look at that, and the moon and the sun in reverse. It's pretty bad. But the moon in reverse is like, you know, you see something came out that was hidden from you. You found out the truth. And they know that they caused you a lot of unhappiness and that you didn't deserve it. And now they know that you're avoiding them because of of their betrayal. But then now they want to, I'm telling you, this person is going to communicate with you. They want to come in with honesty and truth and clarity. So um, show me Aquarius' feelings for this person. Damn, your cars are really flying out the deck. For some of you, this person already reached out to you. Look at that. For some of you, this person might have sent you a gift or a sweet message. And they have all these promises of telling you that they want to be what you deserve. They're going to show up for you the way you show up for them. You are the, you're meant for them. And they, they, they might have sent you flowers. Like I said, a gift for some of you. I'm getting a gift or... Um, I don't know why I'm hearing sunflowers. I'm hearing sunflowers, which is very unusual because I would think it would be roses. But um, I feel like for some of you, this person gave a gift, some sort of gift or um, something. But the problem you have is like, you're, you don't not, you're not sure if this person can put in the work that they need to do to make things up with the Seven of Pentacles reverse. But at the same time, this the Seven of Pentacles reverse is telling me this person said to you like, this is, you know, we have unfinished business. You know, this isn't over for me. You know, this person may have said something along the lines like, this can't be over. I can't lose you. And they tried to give you something. And now, if this hasn't happened yet, and I feel like for a lot of you it has. That's why it's showing up as your feelings. But if it hasn't happened yet, this is a prediction, Aquarius. Yeah, but you just feel like this whole situation was a big mess. It, you know, there's, there, it failed. It was just, there's a lot of disappointment here. And, and you're like, this person was very cocky, I feel like. And it's just like they tried to do something and they were shady about it. And it, they failed at it. And you see that as a family situation. Yeah, you feel like this person is reckless. Okay, this temperament's reversed. For some of you, this person betrayed you with someone else. And that's showing up here. As somebody who, you know, like, tried to make excuses as to why they ended up cheating. And you're like... You did what you know what you were doing, you know? You didn't just fall into this person's lap. So you feel like this person is very, you know, reckless and they, they overdid something here. And for some of you with the temperaments reverse, it's like you're focusing on self-healing from this situation. You're trying to focus on that. The tower reverse is here. Um, you feel like your person destroyed the connection, but they're not willing to put in the work to, be, to become better for themselves and in, in, in general. Like they're resisting change and transformation with the Tower Reverse, could be an Aries. And I'm also seeing Sagittarius energy. Yeah, the Eight of Cups is here. I feel like you're just trying to walk away from this. You're trying to walk away from the situation. But at the same time, your back is turned and you're trying to walk away. But if your person was willing to be accountable for what they did, then you may want to listen to them, right? So what, are the, what advice do we have? Guys, share in the comments whatever this betrayal was for you. Because again, this is a collective. And anybody who's been betrayed by this, their person, and this is your reading, you know what the betrayal is already. It's out. That's why I got the moon reversed. Show me advice, please. What advice do we have? This person that you're connecting with, they still, they're kind of holding back too. They want to come in. They want to communicate with you. And I feel like they're going to send it, even though they feel very insecure. They don't feel like they measure up still with the strength reverse. And they, but they feel guilty. They hate what they did to you. But the problem with this person coming in, the, the main problem that I have is that with this judgment reverse, is that this is somebody who's, who still has this inability to face the facts. They're, not, they're still not willing to hold themselves accountable. 
So it's like, and then they're coming to you and they're not really, they're saying they don't want to lose you, but they're not really presenting anything to you solid. You're like, okay, what do you want me to do with that information? Because they're not saying, well, I want you, I'm going to commit to this. I don't, you know, they're not saying that. But then again, this person also is, is pondering the idea of the Knight of Cups, wanting to come in as everything that you desire, your mutual partner, your ideal partner. But at the same time, that can't be accomplished, accomplished if they're not holding themselves accountable for what they did. Like, of course, they feel guilty about it. They hate what happened. But then they're still not holding themselves accountable. Right now, I have the Eight of Swords reversed, and that's someone releasing themselves. Very self-aware of what's going on, and I feel like that's you. But let's see. Yeah, because with this two of wands reversed, your person's energy is all over the place. Like they don't want to lose Aquarius, but at the same time, they want they don't want to hold themselves accountable for what they did. So with the two of wands reversed, this person is like they're not willing to take a chance at this time. They're afraid that you're gonna reject them, is what I'm getting. So show me why this eight of swords reversed is here, please, for Aquarius. They don't have much to offer. Right now, Spirit is basically saying, you know your worth. Don't settle for this person as the impressed. Okay? Um, you're not stuck in a situation. You, you've you gained awareness, clarity. You feel free of this. And you're just trying to be focused on yourself and being productive. And again, this person has to rise up to meet you where you are. You're not going to go down to where they are you're not willing to do that this person you know page of pentacles reversed this is somebody that their their lifestyle still hasn't changed they still have an unhealthy lifestyle there's still some disloyalty here this person's goals are unrealistic so this person's coming in talking all this stuff about you can you know you'll feel safe with me you know i'm faithful and that's why I got the, the King of Wands earlier. But at the same time, this person doesn't, their actions are not lining up to what they're saying is what I'm getting. So that's why at this point, Spirit is like, you need to focus on yourself. Let this person rise up to meet you where you are. Yeah, there's a breakup right now, as you know, right? To a custody verse. And at the, at the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Pentacles. Spirit is like, just focus on yourself. Focus on your work. Focus on whatever it is that you master, that you can master, that's keeping you occupied. And I feel like for a lot of you, that's what you're doing. You you may be taking classes, some of you. You're working on something that's bettering you, you know, your life. It could be a class. Um, it could be a training. Um, well, just focus on your work overall. And that's what I get. And it's just spirit is just like, just focus on yourself at this time. This card came out way. Show me more, please. Why is it 10 of wands here? Okay. Yeah. This is somebody that you still can't trust. They're very emotionally immature. And they therefore they and they have an issue they're not willing to address. Therefore they can't change. They're not changing. This person even needs therapy, I feel like. So just to be with this person is draining. It's too much baggage. You have so much more to offer. Again, this is somebody that you don't need, but you love. Love is not enough. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. That's you being abundant and independent and on your own, not needing this person. This person, again, you're not willing to thumb yourself down to be where this person is. They have to rise up and meet you where you are. So before we close out this reading, I'm going to pull some cards to see who else is coming towards you in love. Show me who else is coming towards. Cards are coming out sideways. Who else is coming towards Aquarius in love, please? It's this person again. The person that's coming towards you is the person that took you for granted. Okay? This is someone, again, who didn't reciprocate. They have And they have money problems. They let things on the outside interfere with this connection. Wheel of Fortune reverse. Money problems, definitely money problems. Financial issues. Right? Um, so this person is just having their experience in their karma. And they're wanting to return. You could be connecting with, again, a Pisces really strong or a Taurus. But I see you here. Spirit is like, you know, if this person comes in, continue to have your boundaries. This is the second time I pulled the Queen of Swords. All right? Be clear about your wants and needs. 
and just create healthy boundaries when it comes to this person. Again, you can, you can listen to what they have to say, but stand on it, what you want, and continue to recover. Nine of Swords reverse. So your main purpose right now is just to continue to recover. Because this person is going to come back around. That's why Spirit is telling you to... See, this person got clarity. They're going to come back around. Seven of Cups reverse. Um, just... Let this person prove to you that they've changed. If you're even willing to entertain them, you have free will. Yeah, this person is wanting to come in as someone that you can trust, right? They're willing to come in with honesty. They want to say they're coming in as honesty, but let me see something. Show me the cards, please. Show me more for the situation, please. Some of you may have a child or children with this person, so you have to communicate with this person, okay? Co-parenting, some sort of team effort, coming together for the sake of the children, for those of you who do. Um, again, there's going to be healing and recovery. This person wants your forgiveness. They sincerely and honestly want your forgiveness, though. The problem is they got to put in the work, and they have a lot of things they're holding on to, a lot of things that they need to let go of. Like certain ways they have, certain issues that they have, traumas. It's just like you're blocking the change. This is a blocking change. How could we heal if you're blocking change? You're not willing to change. So just focus on what you do have to come together with. If this person owes you money or you guys have a business together or you're invested in them, you may have to still come together with this person that came out sideways for the sake of that investment. All right? With the two of swords reverse, I see you detached though. You feel like this is just too much. Like this person has stressed me out. A lot of air energy, Libra, Aquarius, your energy in Gemini. You just feel like I'm not willing to put have this person put me through anything else. Yeah, you feel like it's a defeating situation. Seven of wands reverse. You're like, it's too much. It's overwhelming. It's very triggering. Your person, I feel like it's very triggering to even think about when this person comes in. But you kind of know that too, that this person is coming in. And that's why I got the seven of pentacles, you know, um, reverse. This person is telling you that this is not over. We have to, have to talk about this. Um, full reverse is telling me that you're holding back from this person because you feel like they're reckless and manipulative. So <laughs> I tried to see who else is coming back in. But who else is coming? But not this person is coming in first. So is anyone else coming towards? <laughs> Show me who else is coming towards. Um, Aquarius, please. It's the same person. They're gonna try to love bomb you. They've been spying on you. They want to communicate. They can. They can be looking at your social media page or asking about you or talking to you, talking about you to family members and friends, and. Again, this person has a lot of money problems. Failed business is what I'm getting. They made some poor financial decisions. And now they're going to try to love bomb you. So this is what's happening now. So nothing else is happening until this closes out. Right? So you don't see this coming because... you Actually, you kind of see this coming. The high priestess reverses this person. They're being... Secret. There's something that they're keeping to themselves. I'm hearing secrets. What is it that this person is keeping to themselves and away from Aquarius? There's still some deception here. So I feel like the fact is this person is still being who they are. They're still cheating or doing what they're not supposed to be doing. They're going to come to you as if there's somebody who wants to commit and they want to be with you. But just don't trust that deceptive energy because I see with the Seven of Swords and the High Priestess Reverse, this person is still being sneaky. This, so whatever you think this person is doing, they're still doing. So with the Six of Cups Reverse, Spirit is like, hold back from any reunion from this person. All right, so before I close out, this is a test, guys. Before I close out this reading, I'm going to pull some messages from the universe. Send me the messages for Aquarius. Yeah, so this is somebody at this time that's not willing to change, but they're going to present themselves as if they are going to change. And you're holding back. You already are holding back. So your gut is already telling you that something's not right. Listen to it. But this is something that has to happen. Like, again, some of you, this is not the right time for the new person to come in. Because some of you have a child or children with this person or some sort of business. You've invested with them and they did you dirty financially. Something with your investment. 
Again, if this is your reading, you know what this is. This person may owe you money and you're just waiting around to get your money back, right? Um, in your journey, there will be times when you feel lost, confused, lonely, and angry. These are times of transition. You won't feel those emotions forever. You are transitioning to a better, stronger version of yourself. Shed away those unneeded layers and keep growing. So even though it may not feel like it currently, Aquarius, you're going in the right direction. Choice is the most powerful tool you have. Every choice you make shuts some doors, but also opens several doors. Bring new experience, I mean, bringing new experiences into your life. At any given time, you can change the direction of your life. You are only one choice of way. So you decide what's best for you. That's ultimately up to you, Aquarius. Bigger and better experiences are coming your way. You may not be able to see it, but great things are coming together for you as you read this. Trust the process and let it unfold in divine timing. Moving forward, knowing that all is working out just fine. Yeah, you may not be able to see it, but it doesn't mean that it's not happening. Because I can't even see it right now. Because when I ask who's coming towards you, it's this person right now. Because this is what's happening. This is your immediate future. But know that something bigger is, is, is in the background. And it's an all in divine timing that someone, something better is coming. Okay. So those are the messages that I have for you for this reading, Aquarius. If it resonated, be sure to tap that like button. I wish you healing, love, and light. Also, if you're interested in a personal reading, click on the link below. I wish you healing, love, and light. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.